and welcome to another edition of Technoholic, where we get you addicted to technology. We have a power pack show for you today with some great tech, so stick around. But first things first, here's what's coming up for you in the next half hour. On Technoholic this week, we travel all the way to Kanpur to check out IIT's Techkriti and all its robots. And we also take a closer look at the current censorship battle on the World Wide Web. Alright, so let's kick start the tech with our gadget pick of the week. I'm an Apple fan for two reasons. Yes, they have great products and also they have fantastic displays like the iMac or the nice displays that editors use to edit the films. They have one thing in common, great style along with some superb quality. Now, Apple along with Intel had announced last year about Thunderbolt technology, which enables blazing fast data transfer through one single cable. Now, is this better than USB? Sagar is up first reviewing a 29-inch Thunderbolt display and the new Mac Mini in his very own Apple Corner. Thank you, Radhika, and hello, Technoholics. Well, I do have a bit of a Mac Corner going over here, isn't it? Well, laptop, Mac Mini, the king of this uh, corner, that is the Thunderbolt display which I have just gotten, which looks gorgeous. And obviously, Radhika, to answer your question in a quick way, is the Thunderbolt port faster than the USB port? Well, it's much, much faster. But how does this make sense to us or in this display? Well, first of all, let's have a look at the display. Now, this, this display is a 27-inch beautiful display, uh, which is LED backlit, looks wonderful, which connects to your either your laptop or can connect to a Mac Mini or most of the gadgets by Apple, which have been released post-2011, which is on Thunderbolt display technology. But the port is the same. Now, let's see if you have a look at this port. Now, this port is the same, looks the same as the mini display port. All you need to do is put in the cable over here and you've got your display running over here. Right now it's been connected into my Mac Mini. Now you would ask me this question that why shouldn't I just connect my laptop to a larger display, like a large screen TV? What is the difference between a 27 inch screen made perfectly by Mac and a large screen TV? Well, the answer is, since this is a two stream port, what it does is that not only is this a display port where I go into menus and I can click things and basically it works between an interface between this and this, but what I can do, which is the special part is that there are a bunch of ports at the back of the screen, which allow me to connect USB drive to this and I can straight away, if all my ports in a laptop are blocked, I can connect more ports over there and I can download stuff over there. That is pretty brilliant and in some cases it also acts as an upgrade. So now well, how many of us thought that you know a MacBook Air is not a good gadget to buy if you live in India because hey, all of us do not have Wi-Fi. But with this, with the Thunderbolt display what you can do is you can connect your laptop to your Thunderbolt display through the Thunderbolt cable and well you are done, you are set for the day. What can happen is the Ethernet cable can go inside your Thunderbolt and you can have Ethernet access, which is pretty brilliant. So it actually upgrades a MacBook Air. Now in terms of uh, what does the display have on it, it's got two onboard speakers, which are pretty loud, which are louder than a normal uh, uh, laptop, far louder, but they're not as loud as professional audio monitoring systems. So well, if you are a producer who makes a lot of music, well, I would suggest that, you know, by add-on speakers, although there, are, there is no audio out from here. What it also has is basically a HD FaceTime camera, which is pretty good because let's say if you are connecting through your Mac Mini, it doesn't have a problem. So, uh, I mean, you have FaceTime on your computer, so which is pretty good. Uh, coming to the downside about the Thunderbolt display, well, there's not much to complain about, but well, there is one small problem. The fact that, well, this can be tilt adjusted. So basically it can move like this and like this, but well, the height of the stand cannot be adjusted, which is something which even normal monitors offer. So well, bad for that. Coming to my final verdict about the Thunderbolt display, well, I would say that it is a bit expensive. It is on the steeper side. It costs close to 60,000 rupees, which is a lot of money to play just for a display. But well, what I'm trying to get at is that this is not just a simple display. You can do a lot of things. Now, the best part about this is that if you already own, like in my case, a MacBook or a MacBook Pro, and you want to buy another desktop, you don't need to because you can use your MacBook Pro as an intelligent device. Let's say you carry it to your workplace as 
a laptop, you go home, you have this beautiful setup, all things are in place, your keyboard, your mouse, all you have to do is just go and plug in your MacBook and you're good to go and have a large screen inside your house. It is pretty good for that and then it is not a very large price to pay. So well, it's a buy from me. Now I also promised one more review which was the Mac Mini. The cool part is in terms of the form factor there are a lot of changes compared to the first Mac Mini. It has become thinner, it has become much nicer, obviously it's become slightly wider but it doesn't look like an ugly Tiffin box anymore. It does go into the theme of all the new Apple products, it's nice shiny silver, it looks more like a MacBook Pro, so that is pretty good. In terms of what it has lost to gain this thinness, they have lost the uh, disk drive, so well I still use my good old uh, ROM drive, so well that is something which is completely missed. In terms of processing power you saw it is pretty powerful, also has the latest OSX Lion. But in terms of ports, you have got an on and off switch over here, you've got your standard uh, power cable, an ethernet jack, a firewire cable, uh, you also have a HDMI out which is great to connect it to a giant screen TV, the Thunderbolt cable which is what it's connected to right now, four USB drives so basically you can put in a lot of slots inside, you've got a memory card reader which is pretty good so if you're a photographer or something it comes in handy. Well, Mac intended this to be used more as a desktop, but well, people ended up using it more as a media center. So well, that qualities are also very nice. Coming to my final verdict, is this machine a buy or not? Well, I would say that 44,000 rupees, this is still one of the cheapest Macs which you could buy. Obviously, the Mac mini has a, a younger cousin to it, which is slightly less powerful and is available for 34,000 rupees. So well, but it really depends on what is your use. So as the things I mentioned, if you want to use it as a media center, it works perfect or as somebody who wants to move from a PC to a Mac, it is the best go-between device basically where you get started on a Mac and then maybe you could buy a more powerful machine. You could use your existing keyboard, mouse and also your display and you just have the cool Mac experience. So well, if that is the case, then well I give it a buy but if not, give it a miss. Time for our first break on the show but coming up on the other side, we check out IIT Kanpur's Technology Fest, Tech Krithi. Oh, my God.